All right, hello everyone. Um, this is how we're going to connect to the NVM version 2. Uh, this uh, uh, CNC controller is made by uh, Novasun CNC. I bought it off at eBay or something like that. Anyway, um, it's just been proven to be an absolute nightmare to connect to. Um, took me about six, six days, six nights to figure out exactly how to connect to it. I made a video earlier, but I felt it wasn't good enough. So, um, here's a new one. Uh, so first off, make sure your power supply is 18 to 32 volts. It has to have one amp. Uh, anything less than that, it won't even turn on. So make sure that's right. Make sure your uh, wiring's correct. I do have a video on how to wire it. Uh, and there will be ports and pins and pinouts in Mach 3. Uh, a couple videos I'm going to make later on. And uh, so without further ado, uh, here we go. The very first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead to Novison CNC. Uh, just go to their website. I already have it up here. Um, I'll post the, the link in the, uh, below the video here. The, uh, description and if you go to NVM now this covers both uh, version 1 and version 2 um, I'm not going to be covering the actual uh, connection for the NVM version 1 because I just don't have one and I'm not planning on buying one um, after this nightmare I don't think I actually it wasn't that bad but anyway okay so we have the NVM version 1 Chinese manual we have the NVM version 1 English manual, and then we have NVM version 2 English manual right here. This is the one we want for our version 2s. And most of this stuff is uh, incorrect, so just so you know, I, I didn't try the, the, uh, the router connection. I might do it later on, but um, personally, I think the wired connection through the ethernet cable. I'd only use a cat six ever. Um, I generally don't trust what they send in the box, but this seems to do the trick. So I'm going to just run it and see what happens. Um, it's a cat six cable. Um, I guess that just means it's shielded. So this here is your download button right here. Um, for if, for those of you who aren't familiar with PDFs, um, go ahead and just click on that and we got save file. Now, once we're done with that, just keep it on your desktop uh, just in case the site goes down. Keep it for related reference. You can get a PDF writer and actually write your own notes as you go. And then, uh, then save it and you'll have it for later. So, and I found after connecting to this, uh, this CNC controller, it's actually pretty reliable. So, um, keep in mind, this is a metric, I do believe. I went to uh, NVM version 2 plugin, and this is one of the most important parts of getting connected to this. This tells um, basically Mach 3 what it wants the controller to do. It's uh, uh, So without it, you're not connecting. So you're going to click on it once, left click, and this will pop up, and just hit OK. I'm saving it to my desktop just so I don't have to rifle through all my files. And uh, we already got it. So after that's done, we can just close this close this website. And it comes in a WinRare zipped file. And what we're going to do is if you don't have WinRare, you can get it. It's free. Um, and we're just going to double click on it. And we'll close the ad. Um, we're just going to grab this file and throw it on our desktop just like that. And um, so there's two places where you're going to want to put this. This file has to go in. You're going to go to local disk, C drive, unless you changed your directory um, in the install for Mach 3. I'm going to double click on Mach 3. We're going to go to plugins. And all we're going to do is right click on the file, copy. We're just going to click in the box here and paste it. Now we're going to go back to Mach 3, and in this Mach 3 local folder, I guess, you, I don't know what they call it, a uh, native folder, 
I like to do this so I know it's in there. And we're just going to go in the white part away from all the folders and just paste it. That way I can see it in here. Okay, it's there. Confirmed. That part's done. All right, so that's the first part of the video. I'm going to make two videos because it's this is a long process, and um, quite honestly, I don't really I don't really foresee me sitting through this process. So I'm going to cut the video now. Um, if this helped you, uh, please like um, and subscribe. Um, for the NVM version one guys, if if you want to try it and post in the comments below, I, I you know. Like I said, I don't plan on buying one, so I won't be doing a video on it. Anyway, um, once again, have a good one, and good luck with uh, connecting to your envelope.